Alrighty. Here's the uh, case I was talking about. It is a Cooler Master. Obviously, it's kind of my thing for the most part. Elite 500, I believe is what that is. Underneath that barcode. Yeah, Elite 500. I'll open it up off camera. I think it's so big. But um, it should have a glass side panel. It says it up here. So it should have that um, in the listing supposed to be with the glass side panel they make a version with without so then we'll check it out well i kind of got ahead of myself but uh i already took the the glass panel off um but i am gonna do this off camera but i'm gonna take this off here because i don't need the disc drive part i got this because there's one that doesn't have the disc drive but this one does um and it actually is a little longer so and you get so with this one with the the disc drive part um you get two more spots for ssds here and it's longer so that'll really help with the whole water cooling thing but i'm gonna get this off and then i think this comes off it looks like it's drilled it's screwed in so it's it's not riveted which is what i was worried about um and then I can place the 360 rat in. I'll probably come back with a time lapse with that out. I'll take the fan off. I'll pretty much prep it. And then I'll put everything in. I'm not putting everything in tonight or whenever I get a chance. It's probably just going to be motherboard um, and the rat radiator and power supply and fans. Um, but that's really about it. I'm not going to worry about... Uh, well, I can't worry about the... Uh, block because i don't have that right now it won't be until monday it's friday right now or i mean it's thursday right now so i have tonight to do it pretty much and then i could go to micro center this weekend i gotta get some more fittings um and yeah i got just two tubings left i might have to buy some more because here's my old stuff it didn't change too much just very little bit of discoloration like to the point where i would not hate myself for using this stuff if i need to but I might grab some new stuff at Micro Center if I don't, if this ends up being not enough. We'll see. I think it should be enough. But I can always buy some when I'm there just because. Um, and I need a couple fittings. But yeah, first order of business is to get these two out, things out. Because without them out, the 360 rad's not going to fit. And I don't know, it should be able to still mount up there. Whether it's just, we'll see. I'm not exactly sure how we're going to be able to mount it. Um, I have not a clue. I'm hoping this fits a 360 rad. I mean, I guess I can check real quick. Oh, 100% this will fit because it looks like it would still mount right there. Oh, yeah, I would 100% fit without those two things in there. And then that would just give me just enough space. And then I can be happy with this because this is very much a budget case. This was a sub $100 case. Um, in the end, I, I might make a video on it or at least touch on it in one of these videos um comparing this to the n200 um this reminds me of the n200 in so many ways like it's almost like a modern rendition of it because it's very it's a very office looking pc and that's what i like about this i didn't want a big gamer-esque thing and it's smaller than my old pc case which is what i wanted i think there's like three cases that pretty much use the same exact layout just different front panels from what i could tell the only thing that makes it budget that I'm not a fan of and I'm going to change is these pieces back here. I may end up pulling these out tonight as well. Um, and I'm going to just swap in either these or these. I got a couple different styles, but we'll figure out which style I want to put in there. But I think I'm going to put those in tonight as well while I have it all apart. I think it's easier to flip them out. Um, it gets stupid design. Not stupid because it works. But it's very a budget case thing so yeah and i want the basement that's sweet i love that because i'm gonna drop the other cables and i'm excited for this and i haven't seen like many builds in this at all and not any water cooling ones besides like a all-in-one on tom's hardware so this is very exciting this video is gonna be very long but i did film the time lapse earlier and i looked it was only um like 22 seconds so we'll see if i make it slower or not but so the time lapse part never takes that long, I guess. But yeah, see you in a little bit. All right, guys, as you can tell, the uh, time lapse did not happen, but uh, 
I started working on it without the camera, like I said I was going to. I did go a little overkill and put the radiator in. That was one thing I was going to do on the camera. But uh, it, this case isn't set up how I want it to be. Where I want, I want the fans to be out here usually. Um, but I couldn't set it up because the way the front panel is too shallow. So this is how it's going to be set up now, which is fine. It's fine. So that's fine. I got that set up. I got the height of this all good. Um, it's pretty perfect. Only thing I'm working on right now is trying to get some soft tubing connected here to here. I had this in and it was pushing this out a little bit more than I would have liked. I have different options. If I need to shim this this way, I'd rather not because I want maximum space for graphics cards. Because the standouts are here, I'm going to not have a lot of space. <coughs> My graphics card will be fine, but down the road I do want to get... I think I mentioned it, a Vega um, 64 card, um, and those are longer cards. Plus, I want to water cool it, so I, I, hope I, I need to see how big the Corsair Hydro block is and see if it'll fit in here. This is definitely a smaller case, and I'm all for it, but comes with different issues. Um, another thought I had was running the tube from the radiator to here um through maybe here or the back one the back one has a temp sensor um i could rotate this whole thing this way so then all this would come out here and then but that would i have to have fitting towards the motherboard and i don't i really don't want to do that like i said because of the size but i do want to do all this before i got any electronics in there just because there's sometimes there's a I almost fell out my chair. Oh, a little bit of water coming out of the fittings a little bit. You know, I had a little bit of water dribble through here when I was putting the temp sensor back in because I was going to take it out, but then I put it back in. So, I could always... I don't know what I'm smashing back there to turn the case around. Um, but I could throw... Now you can't see. A 90 or probably 90 down there where the temp sensor is here and bring that up and then switch the port to this one up, up here it may end up happening i do want to look at more pictures to see if anyone's ever done that and we'll see i really was hoping this would work because that would be really cool um but with the angle of i wish it was here if it was here i might even test it it would be perfect but technically you're supposed to use this one um, I'm not sure if there would be an issue with me using this one because the fill port, while this is, has the tube going down, um, I don't know. And this one has to be, the, this is the only one that has to be this one to go to the motherboard, I believe. And it's called, um, the inlet, I believe, or the outlet. I, th I, oh, I think it's an outlet, yes. But all the other ones are inlets or something like that. But that one is like the one that's labeled that it's the, the only one that can be that one and that's a fill port and everything else is this the other the other type outlet i believe um, this has to get redone probably just 90 it down just because well it was outside the case i might fix that now i should have an extra 90 laying around um maybe i have to go to micro center like i said this weekend i will obviously not to get one of these because clearly th that's not going to work so no, I'm glad I'm doing this before the weekend so I can figure out what exactly I need to buy. I don't think I'm going to do a time lapse. I think I'm just going to go back to putting parts in. So you get that little time lapse a little earlier of me taking everything out, but I'm doing a little bit too much thinking to get too excited. So putting a tripod in my workspace is a pain. So yeah. Okay, I ran this run. It's not all and I got to redo it. It's not as not tight down here or anything i mean it is but it's not all the way down like i need it to be so it's just all test fitting to make sure it all works to see if i need to, what i need to buy um and if you have a keen eye you may have noticed i added these rubber grommets these were finessed from my other case so i put them on here i'm surprised they fit actually but perfect um these are the ones I went with for the back. GPU. Um, <coughs> so it actually feels like a lot nicer of a case with both those things done. 
um, because that, that this is def with missing these definitely shows it, um, but it's budget and then having the non-replaceable ones is also very budgety. Um, but yeah, this really changes it a lot. Um, I'm not gonna do a whole lot tonight. I don't think. I don't know. We'll see. I'm still deciding. I don't know if I want to run run this run permanently, or if I want to wait till Micro Center. I'm not sure. So I might toss the fans in and the back plate and some other random stuff and keep the motherboard board out for now. Um, but yeah, no, I was thinking about the uh, the motherboard power. That's why I kind of thought about putting these in, just so I could figure out how to run it without hitting that tube. Hopefully that that works. There may be it may get changed again, but I'm gonna hope that that works. I'm gonna look and see if I can do that, and then if I entirely like it, like I don't I don't love it, but I also don't hate it. I would have hated it more if this thing was pushed out more because of the run up here. Um, unless I do something funky and put the drain back there but i think from the drain back there would be not good as in just i would have i have some ideas if i were to put the drain back there i would drill a hole in the in the basement and go and put a grommet through and go or pass through and go right right through here um which also kind of we might snug that up it'd be kind of more custom too um i don't know but i do gotta figure out what i want to do with this and putting that in the back and then running this across over it. I don't know. I'm afraid. You wouldn't be able to see the reservoir because you have a tube going in front of it and another one going to the CPU here. Um, I don't know. I got to look at some photos for inspiration. That's what I need to do. Um, it'd be so nice if I had one more port here. But I understand there's probably stuff going on inside that it can only have it on three sides. this you know i do like this reservoir it's a nice one it's not the double helix like i wanted in my other build but it'll do